I'm about to show you the best horizontal passing concept in Madden 22. I have to tell you that the way Madden 22 is built and, and designed, you need to have what I call baby dots, or what the community calls baby dots. You need to have plays that can move the chains, right? Just simply put, you need a down, you need five yards, three yards, four yards, what are you going to call? I think this play right here is a great play that's going to keep your offense on the schedule, and it's also going to keep you from throwing unnecessary interceptions. You're going to have the ability to beat blitzes as well as heavy zone coverages. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Nice to meet you, and I would hope that you subscribe. Uh, we upload every, or, uh, every day two to three videos a day uh, on Madden 22 or Madden content. Uh, we've been doing that for about a year and a half now. We're going to continue to do that. So if you're looking to get better, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm also talking today about my personal favorite formation to talk about um, in Madden 22, and that is the trip side in. I think trip side in is by far the best offensive formation in this game uh, if ran correctly, and the key is if ran correctly. And we're going to show you how to run it correctly in this video. Uh, one of the things that really makes trips tight end so good is it has plays for every situation. It has plays that can bomb over the top. It has one play touchdowns against every coverage. It has uh, quick passes. It has short passes. It has running plays. And we teach you how to do all that in our Patreon. So if you've not gotten the ebook yet, join the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below. Uh, by joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get the trips ebook, but you get every ebook. I've got 14 of them. 14 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get all of them, join the Patreon. Now the, the setup for today, you can do this out of any play in this formation. If you do not have Hot Rod Master, you do need to use Drive Post because we're going to be building around a very much so lesser known route um, in Madden 22, something that I have honestly slept on almost all season and I haven't quite fully explained how the route works. And the route is the ghost route, which you need backfield master or hot route master to be able to, uh, to, to do or RB apprentice. That's the only thing we really need. A tight end apprentice would help too. Uh, but anyways, here's how we're going to set this up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put the left of screen middle slot on a uh, flat. Okay. We're going to place the left of screen outside receiver on a five yard in. We're going to place the middle or the inside slot on a slant. We're going to place the tight end on a post. And then really important, we're going to put the running back on a ghost. Now, the reason we put the running back on a ghost here is I'm going to show you what happens first if we don't. So if I just call like a basic cover three, this is actually pretty good defense. Why? Well, because this slant, you'll see the curl flat defender plays the slant pretty well. The little hook curls defenders will play the in routes. Uh, will will play the in route really really well, and then all they really have to do is maybe man up this slot um, on this out, and then they've got a pretty good coverage. So what do you do, right? Well, enter the ghost route. If you use a ghost route, what you're going to notice here is this circle receiver when he cuts. Watch the purple. He gets completely held inside. And now I can throw that on the sideline. And guess what most people use as their underneath defender in zone drops? They use purple zones. They use curl flats, quarter flats, and seam flats. So that was a curl flat. I've got a cover four uh, drop up here. I'm going to show you a quarter flat. This next zone you're going to see is a quarter flat. Watch how it just sits right on the running back route. As you can see, I hit that route to Darden wide open. So that's a quarter flat. Now I'm going to show you a seam flat. And this is part of understanding a good passing concept. you got to understand every zone, how they react. So here is a seam flat. The seam flat plays fairly decent, but I can still hit that to the side. Okay, And like I said, seam flat, probably the best zone. And I'll show you it one more time here. So we'll do seam flats. And again, I've just got linebacker seam flats because I'm trying to mimic the idea that most people are going to be running that out of a Mabel concept. So here's a seam flat. Notice how he gets far out there, but now he sucks in late in the play, and I'm able to hit this. I'm able to hit the slant. So seam flat, curl flat, quarter flat, all purple zones, all zones people would use in a Mabel, and all zones that get sucked in 
whenever we use a ghost route, okay? Now even more importantly than that, I wanna show you something else. I'm gonna to go to Mike Blitz 3, and I'm gonna go ahead and hard flat uh, both of these guys, throw a couple vert hooks on there, shade down, and I want you to watch this slant one more time. Notice that the hard flat is going to uh, also get sucked, the vert hook will also get sucked, and you see you can hit your slant. There's only one zone in the game that actually guards this, which I think is really interesting. Um, at least one underneath style zone. And that is the, um, the, cl the, the cloud flat. So the cloud flat zone, probably the best zone for guarding this. And I'll show it to you here. You see how he kind of stays outside and he guards. But something you might notice. Whenever we use cloud flats, now all of a sudden the entire entirety of the inside of the field is wide open. And remember, those vertical hooks have to be, you know, basically they can't be shaded down, right? So now they're, now look at what the uh, dilemma is. Like I said, this is the best possible coverage you're going to get on that slant. Well, now look at this right here. Now I can hit my in to Mike Evans right off the snap if I want to. I've got some other options. I certainly have some other options as well. Uh, and I'll show those in just a second. But I think I'm dropping a ton of people, right? I'm dropping a ton of people into coverage. But now work back over here and watch your tight end post. You'll notice that that gets open behind the yellow zones right in that little pocket. So that's what makes this offense, or it's what makes this in particular concept, I think so lethal against the zone coverage is they basically have to play a cover two defense but what's hard about that is they have to play a cover two, but they can't shade down their yellows. So what you'll notice here is this ghost route. Some of these routes, you can see, I can just check down right there, take a couple yards. I could hit my, my in route. But now we put them in a position where they basically have to play cloud flats. Now I want you to notice something else within this, and that is the... Uh, receiver on the left so I'm looking oh they're gonna stay out there right well now look look how that cloud falls back and I can check down right there so if they even if they use or the tight end post there's still the flat route so even the best defense for this is is very problematic um, when you actually play out all of the concepts and how they work now another little trick of the trade is you could go with a little hitch and a little zig I like this concept certainly as well, and the reason why is look how the vert hooks fall away from the hitch. The reason they fall away from the hitch, you might say, is because they have to shade their coverage down for this to be, or, or for them to stay down. So I'll show you an example. So we're going to shade our coverage down. Then we're going to have to re-put our cloud flats on the outside. And what you're going to notice is these hitches, typically, because this post is going to pull vertical, see how it pulls and pulls and pulls them and then I can just throw to the hitch. So those are kind of two concepts in one. If you're a little bit more worried about man coverage, you might go with the first one. If you're a little bit more worried about zone coverage, then you might go with the second one. And the beauty of this is it literally spaces the field about as perfect as you possibly can. Here's cover four. Notice the hitch is wide open. And of course, this is to the short side. It's even better to the other hash mark. And that's what's so good about trips tied in in just so many ways that you can manipulate the defense. This is a very, very simple route combination. Now, you might be watching this saying, you know what, Cody, that is great. But what if they blitz you out of zone? Well, if they blitz me out of zone, I have everything open. Literally everything open. The hard flats can't cover anything. So what you're going to notice here is I'm just going to hit my hitch. I'm just going to hit my hitch. And if they adjust to the hitch and they, they put that guy, because they only have a swing defender on either side, right? So... You say, well, okay, but what if they put a yellow zone out there? Well, now what I'm going to do, same exact progression. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit my zig. And I'm going to take five to seven yards, and we're going to do it again. <laughs> and we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again, right? What if they, what if, for, for example, you know, what happens when they go to man coverage? So they're going to send, they're going to send a man uh, pressure at you. How are you going to handle that? Well, that's where, again, that first setup comes in handy. And what you're going to notice here is your tight end post is very hard to user because they have to come down. Typically, they're going to user that. So when their user comes down, they're going to be going over the middle to try to guard 
what they possibly can get to, and that means they're going to try to go to the slant. Well, okay, go to the slate all you want, but now I got this coming in behind it. So I love this concept. I could talk about this for hours. Add this to your arsenal. I really think just just run this a couple of times. And, and don't necessarily – I would encourage you, just run this wherever you're out on the field. It doesn't have to be on the left hash. It doesn't have to be on the right hash. This is something you can call no matter what, and you're going to have a lot of success with it. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's a great place for you to be able to get some support. Uh, we've got several members, hundreds of members over there. We've also got private one-on-one -on -one messaging set up for you guys so that you can ask your questions. And then also, uh, we've got a ton of eBooks. We've got 14 eBooks. Uh, we've got a ton of exclusive tips. We update it pretty much every single week. So if you want to get better at this game, check out that Patreon. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching, head on down to the description and check on that. Check out that Patreon link.